All right, so just gonna ready to go for my ride. It's uh, six thirty seven. I've got some bars here. Got four bars. Each of them are thirty grams of carbohydrate. These are the biscuits from Aldi. Very, very simple. And I've just got some squash diluted in my bottles, and that's it really. Um, for breakfast, my breakfast was quite small. Um, I had two slices of toast, one banana, and some peanut butter on top of it. I'm just about to have a coffee before I go out. And uh, oh, I'll show you, show you my route. Okay, so this is the route I'm going to be doing. Um, sorry, it's a bit noisy in the background. The coffee machine and the kettle are both going at the same time. This is the route I'll be doing. Um, it's about a four-hour ride, so four bars for four hours. Um, now, usually I'd have more, but it depends on the intensity of said ride. So today's four-hour ride, I, I only plan on accumulating 150 TSS. So the whole ride is going to be pretty, pretty easy, apart from two climbs. Um, the first climb is going to be out of Glyneath, which is here. And uh, as you can see, it climbs for a short period, flattens out, and then climbs to the top of the Rigos, um, which I was second in a hill climb there last year, in the build-up to the Nationals, fun fact. Um, so that's going to be one long effort there, and then recover on the descent into Triorki and Trihuba. That's proper valleys, by the way. Um, and then we go up the bulk from Triorki side, which is uh, quite a nice side, but it's fairly short. Um, and then a long old descent back into Pont Rue de Ven and Neath. By the way, if you love my pronunciation of the Welsh town names, then uh, I'll keep them coming. Um, but yeah, the intervals that I plan on doing are the notoriously effective 30-15s and I plan on doing them for the whole climb, or rather both of the climbs. So it's kind of like, it's one of those sessions where it's, there's nothing really structured and set. Um, I'm just using the terrain to, to do the work. Hey, we've got a new cycle path between um, the top of Goss Island and Morriston. They've been working on this for ages and obviously I haven't been in the area for like three months and now they finally finished it. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. So you may or may not have seen, if you follow me on Strava, which I highly encourage you to do, um, like there's everything on there for you to geek out on, but I try to keep it fun. Uh, like I don't, I don't like talk about numbers a lot on my Strava titles and Strava descriptions. But the other day I did a, a 3,000 meter climbing day in 105 kilometers. Now, granted I was going up and down the same climb a lot, but I really need to get climbing again, you know, like outside properly. And last week I managed to accumulate 12,000 meters. I did 21 hours and this week, you know, I, I'm not really aiming per se for climbing meters, but they just tend to happen, you know, when I'm riding along. It's hard to not climb around here, to be honest. This week I intend on doing around 22 hours and about 1,000 TSS, which is roughly the same as last week, albeit 900, but it's how I accumulate those. Hence why the hours are so big now. Oh no. Oh. I'm riding the cones. So that there, that's the west side of the Rigos. There's no road that goes up that side, but we'll be making our way around. We head north, we loop, and then we go over it. And it looks very black over there. 
By the way, we're, while we're on the subject of uh, going up hills today, um, congratulations and fair play to uh, Hank from GCN. I saw uh, good old Scott was uh, documenting it, doing his very own version of uh, live kind of broadcasting <laughs> from Pollock Hill uh, yesterday uh, of Hank doing some unbelievably incredible repetitions of Pollock Hill, which not the not the actual hill that we do the hill climb up that I've won on one occasion and a podium on two other occasions. Um, in fact, one of my favourite climbs in the UK, to be honest, is the Tall Road climb. And uh, yeah, Hank did the main A road, which runs alongside it. And I think I'm right in saying it's the steepest A road in Britain. Scott, will you correct me if I'm wrong? Oh, oh my word. Look at that view. That's where we've just come back, come down, come up from. Oh my word. <coughs> that was a 25 and a half minute block of 30 15s. Oh, just the time of descent. So this is Triok. This is what we'd call proper valleys. You can see one valley up there, and there's the bulk, which is the, on the right-hand side of this road, and that's the other valley. This is proper valleys. A lot of heritage, a lot of mining heritage. Um, even when I went to, I remember when I went to Australia, and we went to Bendigo. Um, that's a, that, that has mining history, and some of it was from this area, part of Wales. Incredible. Can you see that? That's a car. I don't know if it's zoomed in well enough or if it's still blurry, but that is a car. And it's like, the top of the climb is just there, so I'm guessing it's just gone right off the edge. It's a fair way to go, like. There's the road I've just come up on. Here's a name some of you might recognise. The birthplace of Richard Burton. I don't know the others. Apologies, but... Okay, just come back from the supermarket and I thought I would show you everything that we bought um, only because never had the chance to do it like this before so um, the way I break it down is we have like carbs fats fruits and vegetables protein and then like other bits and bobs so this will kind of last us I guess a week maybe I don't really know but um, Usually we go out and buy a bit more food 
during the week. But for protein, we've got uh, some chicken sausages, chicken breast. We buy a massive, massive box. Some fish. Now we usually rotate on fish, so salmon, haddock, that sort of stuff. We have venison burgers. They were the cheapest. And this was also on offer, so 5% lean beef mince. For fruits and veggies, we've got some wonky strawberries, some blueberries, a load of bananas, peppers, cucumber, tomatoes, wonky easy peelers, <laughs> leeks, lettuce, uh, we've got balsamic, we've got maple syrup, black oars and porridge and stuff. And then, so that's kind of like protein and then fruits and veggies. And then on this side we have uh, what I then call like fat, protein, uh, well not protein but like dairy and then uh, the carbs. So this was the cheapest in bulk. Peanut butter, eggs, I get through a fair bit of egg. This was the Greek yogurt I've gone for, fat free. So as you can probably tell, like I'm pretty um, conscious about my fat intake in the minute. You can see there's very little in this one. But there's a good carb to protein ratio. Charlie's milk, my milk. I do drink Charlie's milk usually, but just because of the milk that I add to my protein shakes, or rather my post ride shakes, I add milk for uh, the extra oomph. Brioche buns for the burgers. These are the bars I use to ride with at the minute, only because they have. Uh, low fat and uh, 30 grams of carbs low in fiber as well so it's good for my digestion when I'm on the bike and uh, yeah like 30 grams an hour I can easily hit with these and if I need more then you know I can have more no problem then we have snack jacks these are random I never usually get these but they're on offer plus they're pretty high carb and nothing else to be fair we've got to have a nice cereal every house is not complete without nice cereal wheat to bakes for boring cereal and easy carbs pasta for a meal at some point bread bread not that i'm a massive bread fan but it serves a purpose lasagna sheets whole grain brown rice butternut squash one sweet potato and uh, yeah, that's it. So, any questions as to why I'm eating all this or like what my daily intake now looks like? Well, we are starting to think about some serious things. So, food is a big part of that. There we have it. Told you I was making dinner. It's a uh, chicken chocolate. Five grams of protein per sausage. Just two grams of fat. And uh, pretty easy to rice. It's just some pasta. And you cook both separate and then you add the pasta to the pan with a tiny bit of water from the pasta and, and a whisked uh, egg. And a what? Whisked egg. And an egg, yeah. And parmesan and salt and pepper. Well and parmesan. Simple. No veg, unfortunately. But we need carbs. Let's eat!